Hello and welcome to another episode. Today's episode is starting a collection with an end goal in mind. Uh, Why I started to make this episode was to kind of see if I can help out into kind of shaping or helping uh, to avoid make making the same kind of errors that I used to make in certainly in the early years of the collecting. Um, people often say that uh, you kind of fall down this rabbit hole and it's, uh, I, I would have to say it, uh, it was true. And uh, it, it's quite a minefield if you uh, don't have a goal in mind uh, that it could kind of spiral out of control. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, uh, the question would be uh, what to collect. Uh, so you, uh, uh, at the start, I didn't really have anything in mind. It was just uh, uh, buying a pen uh, one after the other. And there was no s- set goal pattern as to what I was doing. Uh, it was also buying ball pens and rollerballs, uh, which kind of didn't really help uh, the situation. Um, so... Uh, so you have to define if you w- really want to kind of collect uh, only fountain pens. And if that's the case, uh, then the next question you would uh, probably want to ask is, uh, do you want to collect one brand or the different brands or the different models or the different colors? Uh, because the variation would be quite immense uh, if you were to do that. Uh, I, I've known people to have said yeah, a 10 would be probably enough, 50 100 and then uh, certain cases uh, uh, I think uh, uh, some people have reached uh, the 1000 point uh, so when does the collection uh, uh, begin called uh, collecting or hoarding um, so this is uh, something that uh, that's been asked uh, quite often um, uh, when you're buying randomly and it's at a thousand then it's probably hoarding uh, a collection is uh, where somebody can um, uh, have an end goal in mind uh, where they finish uh, collecting a set uh, a piece like uh, Kaweco Sports uh, all, the, all the colors uh, for instance that would be one uh, form of collecting uh, another form of collecting would be uh, uh, getting a, a full wide range of variation so a, mix, a mixture of brands uh, but then uh, one of each kind so it's really depending on uh, what your preference is um, uh, what, what that may be um, I will talk about nibs now. Let's have a look. So, for your nibs, uh, you also need to find out uh, uh, what your preference uh, may be. Um, uh, as you can see there, uh, I've, I've put it in a range of uh, 35 pens. Uh, a lot of them are coming out at medium. I did try uh, the extra fine. It wasn't for me, uh, but at least I have one uh, in the collection that I've tried. Uh, it's uh, you know if you're writing a lot of um, um, kind of Asian uh, characters then you probably need uh, finer lines Uh, but uh, for general writing medium will do it Uh, a double broad I've also have two pieces but uh, actually uh, they didn't really kind of make too much sense um the, the only uh, times uh, they kind of look good on paper when I was testing the inks so maybe ma- when I'm making a currently inked then actually the double broad would uh, come out okay because it kind of showcases the ink uh, quite nicely uh, go let's talk about filling now so on filling mechanisms uh, there's a wide range of cartridge and converters uh, you can also have uh, a vacuum sack uh, like the Parker 21s. Piston fills, uh, which is uh, uh, quite popular, which I like a lot. Uh, and then you have uh, uh, various uh, other forms uh, of uh, mechanisms uh, filling. Uh, but it's, uh, like I said, it's also, again, uh, down to preference. Um, uh, the vacuum and also eyedropper being uh, the other options. The eyedropper is quite cumbersome, um, uh, so it is quite fiddly. You you may need to use a syringe or pipette uh, to kind of fill uh, the barrel. So that's uh, so, but it's all it's all down to preference. But you 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 know there are advantages uh, uh, with those uh, mechanisms. Uh, obviously, being that you could fill um, a higher ink capacity uh, with an eyedropper type pen let's talk about 
uh, inks. Let's go to inks now. Let's move on to inks. Uh, again, a wide range of inks. Uh, there's possibly uh, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, uh, of different uh, ink brands and uh, various uh, shades. Um, I did collect over 100 inks, um, but uh, it, again, uh, there's comparisons already done out there, so you probably wouldn't have to buy uh, all the uh, samples of inks. Uh, you can you can get uh, small samples, uh, size bottles to test if you uh, wish, but um, certainly there are a lot of good comparisons out there for all the colors out there. Uh, after uh, three years of collecting, I mean, I can say that um, if branding is important to you, then uh, maybe you would probably go with Mont Blanc. If a nib uh, is important to you, um, then uh, I recommend Sailor. Sailor uh, nibs, uh, especially the 14K gold nibs, uh, are quite flexible. And uh, in general, Sailor nibs are, are known for its quality. Um, for piston uh, fills, uh, it's uh, there are many piston fill brands, but um, Pelican is uh, uh, one of the best uh, in terms of ink retention. So I like uh, Pelican pens for that reason. Uh, also, the nibs are quite good as well. Uh, for inks, there's a wide range. Uh, I picked one out, uh, which is a fairly wet ink and uh, fairly inexpensive as well. Uh, Diamond would be my pick there. And paper, we haven't really talked uh, much about paper, but um, a, a good paper um, would be a Rhodia uh, 80 GSM uh, paper. So those are my picks. Um, hopefully uh, this will give you some kind of guidance today. Um, if you like uh, what you've seen, uh, drop me a like, find me on Instagram, and I uh, will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.